So this morning, um, I, I wanted to focus on for our for our forms. I wanted to focus on shoulders and and upper spine, neck, this <laughs> this structure because I because for me, I noticed that 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 is where I where I hold and carry um, everything. <laughs> so I, I used to always say that I carry, that that's where I hold stress and that's where I carry stress and tension. But lately I'm starting to realize that that's where I hold and carry all of my emotions. Like any negative energy, any negative emotions, anything that I'm feeling a lot of, um, kind of just sits there and I was reading I shared an article with you guys this morning and um, if you had a chance to read that or not but one of the things I was reading about is that that area of our body it makes total sense if you think about it it's the it's the weight of the world sitting on our shoulders right that's where it just sits and settles and that's where we hold it that's where it gets locked and trapped um, and our, our issues with letting go and with, um, releasing that negative energy and not trying to hold it and not trying to carry it, um, all of that settles and stays in our shoulders. And so that's for me, and that's, that's not true for everyone. Some people, it settles more in hips or, um, other areas of their body, but for me and for a whole lot of people, it, that's where it settles and you can just I think you can probably even imagine just like that weight you know just sitting on your shoulders and then you're just trying to hold it all the time and so all of this tends to get really tight and tense um, and even if that's not true for you even if you don't have that like energetic connection to that idea of holding the weight of the world on your shoulders or the emotional energy and, and things like that getting trapped we still in this society have a tendency to um, to sit a lot and to sit in a way that's that's not healthy for that area of our bodies. So if we think about the cell phone posture, right? So 10 forward, shoulders slumped, head forward, looking at our cell phones, scrolling. This is this is how this is energy that gets trapped in these spots and all of this tight because this isn't a healthy um, posture for for that area. So um, unlocking all of that is is a really good practice for, for everyone, whether whether or not you hold negative energy there or just the energy of sitting a lot and computer work and all of that stuff um, that that settles into our into our shoulders. So we're gonna do some stuff to try to unlock that a little bit and release it and hopefully feel a little bit better in that area and maybe um, thinking about the idea of of letting go of any of any heaviness any weight that is that is there that is is trapped in that space in your body um, and just letting go of of anything that's not serving you that that idea of you know the the weight of the world isn't yours maybe at least for this practice you can just let it go and um and be able to just let that that area of your body release and relax so that's the plan do you guys have any questions or anything you want to add to that before we jump into some forms All right if not we're going to just start in seated so just find a comfortable seat for yourself And we're just going to take a little bit of time for a kind of tuning in, a um, little bit of a little bit of a scan of that area of our bodies, a little bit of connecting to the breath. Seeing how we're feeling in that in that area this morning. So 
once you've found your comfortable seat, and if you need to do some props under knees or anything that you need to just be able to really settle into your, to your body here, release tension in the hips and legs. And then you might close your eyes if that feels good or just soft gaze. Maybe just bringing your awareness to your neck, back of the neck, sides of the neck. Noticing how that feels. Awareness to the tops of the shoulders. Across the tops of the shoulders, the outsides of the shoulders. Awareness to the backs of your shoulders, shoulder blades, underneath the shoulders. Those muscles that run along the spine, right on the insides of the shoulder blades. the center of your back between the shoulder blades. Noticing how all of that feels. We're not trying to change any of it. We're not trying to judge it. We're just noticing. Noticing if there's tension, tightness, noticing any places that feel great. Noticing if there's a heaviness there. Heaviness that's settling in that area of your body. Maybe there's a lightness. You could describe the sensation in your shoulder. What would those be for you? Heavy or light, tight. I'm back. Yeah, my internet wins kaputs. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So from here. We're gonna go ahead and move into a little um, shoelace this morning for our lower body. So opt, lots of options. We can do um, shoelace, we can do half shoelace, or if neither of those are great for you, you could always take a half butterfly instead. So we'll start just kind of easing our way into it, maybe starting with legs out in front. And then we're going to bend the right knee, bring the sole of the foot to our mat. And then we'll start to bring that foot across to the opposite side on the outside of the left leg. And then we're trying to find a little external rotation in that leg so that our knee comes down and our foot comes back toward our hip a little bit. So that would be, that would be your half shoelace. You can stay right there if that's is a lot of pressure on that hamstring underneath, you can place a ball under it. The other option would be to tuck that bottom leg underneath so that both legs are curled, both knees are bent. So that that bottom leg in front for me looks like this. Again, if that's not comfortable, feel free to take either a half blood butterfly with the right leg or a full butterfly. So from here, we're gonna to start to work into that, those shoulders. We've got our legs here just kind of hanging out, try to relax those hips completely. We're gonna take a little uh, opening for the shoulders here. So we'll start to bring the right arm up, just as far as it's comfortable. So we don't wanna bring it up so far that our 
shoulder blade comes up by our ear. We're just bringing it up. We're gonna rotate that arm out and then bend the elbow so that our hand comes down somewhere. The hand's gonna come, gonna be internally rotated so that our hand faces the back wall. We're gonna bring it back behind us as far as it feels comfortable and then bend the elbow. So the goal here is not to touch hands, not to grab fingers and pull. It's just external rotation and opening underneath the arm, internal rotation and opening a little bit behind the shoulder blade. That's all it is. So we shouldn't experience any tingling or numbness or strain in this position. If you do, it's totally fine to come out and try again and move into it to a little bit lesser degree. You should be able to hang out here pretty comfortably. And that might mean that this arm needs to not come up quite so far. Maybe it comes up just a little bit and then bends. Find that, that sweet spot for yourself where there's just the right amount of opening. Just breathe here. Thinking about releasing any tension in both shoulders, underneath the right shoulder, behind the left shoulder. Releasing any tension in the neck. You know, maybe as you go through the practice and we do these shoulder openers, you think about weight lifting. Letting go of any negative energy, anything that's not serving you. Letting go of any heaviness, any weight on those shoulders. Take about five more breaths here. And then we're just going to let that go, bring both hands back down. And take a few shoulder rolls here, letting your shoulders lift up, back, down, nice and small, really smooth movements. Couple more. Returning back to that neutral spine. We're gonna take a little side stretch. So right fingertips come to the right shoulder. We're gonna lengthen through the right side arm. You might bring the left hand out on your mat, lifting up and over, stretching through that side. Keeping both hips firmly planted on the mat, so not, not shifting so far. I have a tendency to just kind of fall over. Not shifting so far over that that right hip lifts up. You might extend your arm if that feels good. Or you could keep fingertips at the shoulder. And you keep your shoulder blade nice and relaxed. Also, please, 
block to bring the floor up a little bit. That feels better. And then we'll come back to center and we'll take a little twist toward that top leg. So we're twisting toward the right. Turning, bringing hands down wherever they land comfortably. And we might work into our neck a little bit by bringing chin toward the shoulder. Gentle neck twist, releasing any tension in the spine, the neck. Be focusing your awareness on that spot right between the shoulder blades. Noticing what you feel there. I really encourage that area to relax and release. And then come back to center, untwisting. We'll go ahead and fold forward over these legs. So I wanna start with the neck first, dropping chin to chest. Just so we're really emphasizing this upper spine, releasing tension there, letting our shoulders drop forward. You could just even stay right there or you could roll forward. Maybe you place a block under your head. This is more on the upper spine and not on leaning really far forward. You could always fold further forward if you like. Whatever version of a forward fold you take, just make sure that you're really releasing and relaxing the back of the neck between the shoulder blades. And the upper. Hands come down wherever they're comfortable for you. Again, maybe you think about releasing any, anything that's not serving you, any tension, any negative energy along the back of the neck, between the shoulder blades, down into the middle of the spine.
take three more breaths here. Then removing any props. Head stays heavy, rolling up slowly. Just keep your chin to your chest for a few breaths, really focusing on relaxing the back of the neck. And then you can lift chin back up to center. Let's give those legs a break. So we'll undo our legs, bringing them back out in front. And you might bring your hands behind you. Lift hard up, maybe bend your knees. Just windshield wiper those legs. Side to side, gently. Release that shoelace or butterfly, whichever you chose. A few breaths here. Our body's time to reset. The opposite direction. You might lift your gaze if that feels good and open the throat. And then we'll return back to our seat and take that little sequence on the other side. So we're going to bring right leg out long left leg bent, so everything opposite, everything switches. Options here are to just let that knee come open and take your half butterfly, or to cross that foot over, find a little rotation, and bring that foot back towards your hip. You could place a prop under that knee and stay right there in your half shoelace, or tuck the foot under full shoelace. Whatever feels good. If you come into full and you need some props, don't hesitate. Use some props. Get yourself comfortable or as comfortable as you can be with your legs in this weird position. And then we'll start with our shoulders on this side. So this is going to be left arm comes up. So I have a little more movement, a little more room on this side. I can bring that arm up a little further. We're rotating it so that the palm faces the back wall and then bending hand. So you might notice that one side is a little more open than the other, totally fine. Opposite arm, we're rotating inward so that the hand faces the back wall, bringing that hand behind us and then just bending elbow so it lands somewhere behind our back. Again, this is not a not a challenge to see how close your hands can come toward each other. It's not about, remember, yin is never about forcing anything. It's always about letting go. So if we have to force or pull or strain, then we're defeating the purpose of the form. So if we bring our fingers toward each other by, then, then we're going to lose things about the form itself and lose the opening that we're trying to get. Just be okay with wherever your hands land. Again, if you start to notice tingling, numbness, loss of sensation, or any other sensation that's not you. Feel free to just bring your arms down and try again. Find a little bit better spot for yourself. And notice any tension. What can we let go of here? Good envision that weight lifting off of your shoulders.
more breaths. You can just let those arms come down nice and slowly, letting your hands come wherever they're comfortable, maybe to your lap, and just start to take those shoulder rolls again. Up, back. Trying to keep it nice and smooth. Don't need to be great big movements. Releasing tension. And let that go. Hands back down, we'll take that little side stretch. So fingertips to the left shoulder this time. Right hand comes down to the mat or maybe to a block. We're lifting up and over out of that left hip. Try to keep those hips planted firmly on the mat. Try to keep our shoulder blade down and relax. You might keep your chin neutral, or you maybe you have your ear towards your shoulder, right ear towards your right shoulder. Takes the spread all the way up into the neck as well. Any tension, shoulder, neck, for you to release it. Coming back up to center, letting that hand come down. We're going to take a twist to the left toward that top leg. Hands come down wherever they're comfortable. Maybe right, right hand across the body, left hand behind the back. Maybe we add the neck. Work into our neck as well. Hand toward your shoulder, toward your left. And again, remembering it's not about forcing, so we don't want to grab hold of something and push. We want to just relax into it. Release tension in the neck. Shoulders, between the shoulder blades. So if your shoulders and neck are as tight as mine are this morning, you might be finding this practice pretty challenging. That's okay. Just do what your body can do. Try not to force anything, not moving into things further than we need to. Really focusing on releasing tension, the weight of the world, letting go of anything not serving us. Untwisting, going back to center, then we'll fold forward. But remembering, we're not really trying to take this into the low back this morning. It's more about the upper back, upper spine, and neck. So we can start at the top with chin to chest, and then just let ourselves roll forward, round forward, I guess I should say, more rounding than rolling. Just stopping wherever, wherever it feels just right. Mm -hmm. 
maybe you place a block under the forehead to rest on. Thing, if you can really let yourself let go of any tension, back of the neck, shoulders heavy, any some tension between the shoulder blades. Right at the center. They're heavy. Letting go of anything not serving you right now. Three more breaths here. And then same thing, moving props out of your way. We're gonna keep the head really heavy. Come all the way up, bringing spine back up to neutral, but letting the chin stay to the chest. A few breaths there. Back of the neck, releasing, relaxing. And slowly bringing your head up to neutral. And we'll just bring both legs back out in front again, removing any props out of your way. Both legs come out long. And you might take that counter stretch and bring in hands behind you. Walking them out as far as it feels comfortable, lifting heart up, 
maybe bending the knees. Just take a little windshield wiper for the knees back and forth. You might lift your gaze to open your throat as well as that being possible. And then when you're ready, we'll just come back up to seated. And from here, you take a little movement for the legs, feel free. We'll go ahead and come into our tabletop. We're gonna meet on hands and knees. We're gonna move into a little melting heart. So again, I did mention that this could be a challenging practice, right? Hopefully, you guys are listening to your bodies though and only taking it as far as it feels good. So we're gonna um, do a little melting heart. I like to use a bolster under my heart center. And if you're feeling really tight this morning, maybe do a couple, maybe do a bigger bolster or maybe you do a bolster and pillow or whatever you have available. I'm gonna do a bolster and pillow this morning. Right under where my heart center will be. So just kind of lining that up. And then we're walking hands forward and letting our upper body come down, letting our heart center come down to that prop or toward the mat if you don't have a prop that you want to use here. So we're keeping those hips lifted. I'm just going to readjust and bring my knees under my hips a little bit. And right now I just have my elbows down. I'm going to walk those out a little further and let my head rest. So for me, that means my forehead will come to the mat, might or might not. And you can walk your hands out as far as you like. I like to keep my elbows nice and bent here. If I straighten my arms, my shoulder blades will pop up by my ears and things get really uncomfortable really fast. So just keep a nice bend to the elbows. Again, we're trying to release and relax any tension right between the shoulder blades, really letting heart center melt down toward the mat or onto your prop. Find that spot for yourself where you can settle in. And just focus on releasing tension. Maybe again, the image of weight lifting off of your shoulders.
five more breaths. And out of this, we'll just bring hands under the shoulders, lift back up to our table, moving props out of the way. I'm gonna shift that forward, the, my bolster forward, um, so that I have it for in just a minute. We're just gonna come back to our table right now and take a few cat cow just to move through our spine, softening belly, gaze in one direction, and then rounding into our cat gaze back toward our legs. It might feel really good to pause in cat and take a few breaths there, a little counter stretch. You could just keep moving back and forth, whichever feels better. Few more breaths here. And then coming back to neutral, we're gonna go ahead and move into our child's. So you might bring your knees a little wider. You might start to sink your hips back towards your heels if they don't make it. Maybe you place up, like a small pillow between the hips and heels or bolster. I'm going to keep my small bolster out in front, work into our shoulders just a little bit more. So instead of just bringing my upper body straight down to the mat, I'm going to actually position this bolster so it's out in front a little bit. You might have to play around with that distance so that we can bring our elbows to that bolster. I'm gonna bring my elbows to the bolster and then let the upper body sink down and let my hands come to the backs of my shoulders. So for me, my forehead is actually resting on the bolster as well. You could also do this with a pillow. If you don't have a small bolster, you could do it with blocks, block under each elbow or books. And if it doesn't feel great, feel free to let it go and just take your regular child's. And just trying to find that spot for yourself where you can settle in. Release any tension in those shoulders. Any tension in the hips. Allowing your body to be really heavy here. We keep connecting to that idea of letting tension melt off of the shoulders. And look, any energy not serving you right now.
come out of this, we'll just bring hands back down. So we're straightening our arms first, and then just sliding your arms back, up, out of the way. And it might feel really good to stay in your child's for a minute and bring the upper body down to the mat and then bring your arms behind you and let your shoulder blades fall forward. Maybe cheek to the mat or forehead to the mat, whichever feels better. And if your upper body doesn't want to come down all the way, feel free to slide a bolster underneath you. So up. Take about five breaths here. Another movement for those arms. Shoulders releasing any tension in the backs of those shoulders. And then Bring arms back up, lifting the upper body back up to our table. Here, we'll come back to our seat, finding your comfortable seat, maybe on a prop. And from here, we'll take legs out wide. So you can take your legs out as wide as you like, maybe bringing Props under your knees, if that's helpful. And then we'll just hinge forward at the hips, reaching forward, maybe walking fingertips forward, finding a little forward fold here with those shoulders nice and heavy, back of the neck heavy. Again, you could place a prop underneath you to rest your forehead on if you wanted to. Let go of any tension all along the spine. Any weight on those shoulders, let them be heavy. And relax. Maybe with each exhale, you let yourself relax a little bit more, and release anything not serving you. Come out, keep your head nice and heavy. Maybe use your hands, length of your arms to walk your body back up. Let the head stay heavy though, chin to chest. Keeping your chin at your chest, find neutral spine. Then lifting your chin nice and slowly. 
Maybe you continue taking your gaze up to the ceiling, opening the front of the throat. And coming back to center. From here, we're gonna go ahead and come onto our backs. So moving props out of your way, legs back together. You might take your time. You might grab a drink of water anything you need before you roll down. Pops out of the way. No rush at all. Find your way down to your back. You might hug knees in. Rock. When you're ready, we can just bring soles of the feet back to the mat. I'm just going to walk my feet out a little bit further than hip width distance and let my knees fall toward each other. For me, that's really comfortable and stable um, for my legs. If it's not for you, totally fine to take any other position for your legs that feels good. Not really worried about the lower half right now. We're just going to work on a little bit more shoulder stuff. So, from here, we're just going to bring both arms up toward the ceiling, and we're going to let our right arm cross under our left and give ourselves a hug. We're just letting our hands fall to the mat. Going to hang out here, back to the shoulders, heavy. Thinking about anything that's not serving you. What did you do to just release all of that? All of that tension, all of that stress. Maybe envisioning weight lifting from your shoulder. That weight is tied to a great big helium balloon that floats away. Not yours, just let it go. Noticing if you can let your arms get heavier and heavier. Release any tension. I'm just going to slowly lift those hands back up to the ceiling. Maybe slowly let both arms come down out to the sides. High, nice and slow. Take a big stretch with arms out on the mat. A few breaths. And then we'll just take that on the opposite side, so bringing both arms back up to the ceiling, cross your left under your right this time. Let both hands come down to the mat, nice and low. And settling back in, 
you can let your arms just get heavier and heavier. Connect to your breath here. How it feels. Notice any tension in your thing. Your face, your jaw, neck, shoulders. I'll go. Same thing to come out of this, lifting arms slowly back up, hands up towards the ceiling, and then letting your arms come all the way down to the mat, nice and slowly, arms out wide, maybe you turn your palms to face up. Opening heart center, taking a few deep breaths here. From here, just taking any other movement that you'd like to take. Maybe you want to hug your knees in again. You might want to have your baby. Gentle rock side to side or a big stretch. And opposite directions. Anything that you want to take totally. Now, when you're ready, we'll, we'll settle into Shavasana. For me, I'm going to add one little thing to my Shavasana this morning. I'm going to add a little pillow, uh, not very thick, right under my shoulder. So I'm going to roll onto one side, place that pillow right where my shoulder is going to go, and then come back onto that. So I'm placing it so that the bottom 
of the pillow is at the backs, at the bottoms of my shoulder blades. If you find that spot where the bottoms of your shoulder blades are, it's maybe a little bit below that. And then my head is actually off the pillow onto the mat. So it's a really gentle um, opening for the thoracic spine, heart opener, a little bit of a throat opener. And then fronts the shoulders are opening slightly. So this is just an option for your Shavasana this morning. You can take that. If it's too intense for your throat or your neck or anything else, Feel free to just let it go and come into whatever version of Shavasana you like. Legs out long. Let myself open here if you need to readjust that pillow down a little further. Feel free if you're taking that version. And then maybe you have your palms facing up this morning. You might again just tune in that area of our body that we were focused on for most of the time. Neck, tops of the shoulders, outsides of the shoulders. Fronts of the shoulders. Backs of the shoulders. Underneath the shoulder blades. Muscles either side of the spine, inside. And that squat in the spine right between the shoulder blades. Notice how everything feels now. And without any judgment, noticing any differences. Noticing any spaces where there's a little more ease. Notice too any places that are still holding. You can let that go. Maybe one more time you imagine weight lifting from your shoulders. Maybe it's attached to a big balloon. It floats away. Settle in. Let yourself rest.
your awareness back to your fingers one more time. Front of your body. Shoulders. Maybe you start to take some gentle movements. Maybe your shoulders a little bit. Maybe shaking your head now, side to side. You might start taking some other movements. Knees, stretching, anything that feels good. your time in your own way, your own pace, finding your way to one side or the other. Never feels right this morning. <clears throat> when you come up to seated, just really encourage you to keep your head nice and heavy as you press up to seated so we don't create tension in the head and neck that we've just spent the last hour trying to get rid of. Just letting that head be really heavy, letting it fall down to your shoulder as you press yourself up to seated. Bring your ear towards your shoulder and then let your head come up last. You make your way 